Hello everybody and welcome back and in this section what we will do is we will look at some of the attacks that we can use on the ports that we actually got from our scanning section. So for example we scanned our metasploitable, we found out SSH was vulnerable, we found out open ports such as FTP open port on 21, we found out SSH open port on 22. Now let's see how we can actually do some of the attacks in order to compromise the target machine. So first of all, uh, let's see how we can legit log in to the SSH. So we know that the target, and by target I mean our Metasploitable machine, is running the SSH port open, so we can see that the IP address of our Metasploitable is 192.168.1.5. So let's actually try to SSH to 192.168.1.5. Oops, SSH, not S. So SSH 192.168.1.5 and here we can actually see some of the stuff that we get from the program itself. So this is everything that we need to take in matter once we actually start coding the uh, our SSH brute forces for example or our program that will connect to the target and actually execute the uh, cat at c shadow for example command which is the command in order to see all of the saved passwords on the target Linux system. So let me just show you first of all the, authentic the authenticity of host can be established okay the RSA key fingerprint and uh, this is the fingerprint of the target and it asks us now are you sure you want to continue connecting. So this is the question that can actually present us problem once we start coding since we actually have to answer it before we start connecting and sending passwords and usernames and so on. So let's see what happens once we specify yes. It will say uh, warning permanently added 192.168.1.5 RSA to the list of known hosts. Now I will also show you how you can delete that afterwards but right now let us see how we can uh, log in to the Metasploitable over SSH. Now I believe in order to do that the password is just msf admin. Now you will notice that once you type right here they will not be printed out. That is normal, just click enter after specifying the msf admin and permission denied. Not really sure why is the permission denied. It might not be msf admin, so let's try it for. Okay, so in order, let me just find out what, first of all, the SSH password is for the Metasploit, then I will log in. Okay, so the problem was that I need to specify the account on which I'm logging on, so I want to log into the MSF admin account, so MSF admin at, oops, at 192.168.1.5. Now it will ask for the password, which is MSF admin. And as you can see right now, we successfully logged in into the Metasploitable over SSH. If I run who am I, you can see I'm MSF admin. I have config, you will see that this command will give me the IP address of our Metasploitable machine. So this means I'm logged in into the Metasploitable. LS will list files from the Metasploitable and so on. Now you can exit it with just typing exit and connection will be closed right now. But what we have to do right now is actually create a program that will automate this entire process for us and then after we actually log in it will uh, try to send back the output of the cat at c shadow command which will actually just send the root username and password and other accounts as well, usernames and passwords. Just the passwords will be hashed but uh, we will uh, actually try to crack them later on. For now on we just want to get them. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, let me just go out of the scanning section and let's make a directory called sshftp. No such file or directory. Oh, we cannot have the slash, so let's just call it sshftp, just like this. And here we have sshftp where we will code some of the our future attacks on the ssh protocol and ftp protocol. So let's go to the directory, which is this one. And right now let us actually nano something like nano ssh login.py. We want to actually create a program that will be able to connect to the target over ssh and actually execute the command itself. So first of all 
Let us just for now on, for this tutorial, uh, as a beginning, just code the main function and then later on we will code the connecting function and then sending the command function. So first of all we need to start the user bin python line in our code and we need to import a library that we are first the uh, first encountering for now which is pexpect. It will allow us to automate some of the processes in our SSH logging in. So after we do that let us create a main function so def main which will take no arguments as always we will set the host which will be the IP address of our metasploitable which is 192.168.1.5 we will send set user to be equal to the msf admin and we will set the password to be equal to msf admin so for now on we only want to actually be able to log in to the SSH with our Python program. So we specify the user, we specify the admin. Uh, right now we will create something called child, which will be our SSH shell. We want to perform the connect function on that, which is the function that doesn't really exist, so we will have to code this function in the next video. And we want to paste to that file the host, the uh, user and the password. So first of all let's pass, paste the user then the host and then the password. So this function connect which we will code in the next lecture will take these three inputs which we will perform the connection with. So after that once we perform the connection we want to make a function called send underscore command which will actually send the command to this uh, SSH shell uh, and then the command will actually be cat at c shadow. So this function right here, which we'll, we'll also need to code, will take an input of the SSH shell, which we stored in the variable child, and it will also take an input of the command. So we can specify that command to be cat at c shadow, and for example, let's say we only want the root password, so we will group, uh, grab root, and then ps, oh, pardon me, ps, or we can actually type ps, uh, what this will do is, I didn't really show you this yet, but if you run open a terminal, you can actually run two commands at the same time. So for example, this command is a one command. This command will basically list the uh, the etsy shadow file, and then it will only try to find for the lines that uh, contain root in them. And then if you separate the uh, commands with the dot and then comma, you can run a different command, which in this case we will try to run ps for no reason at all, just to show you how it works, which is the showing the processes running on the target system. So let me show you if I just save this for a second. If I just go cat at C shadow, you can see here are the, the here is that file that we need that contains the password hash value or password for root as we can see right here. So we will, just, we will be just going for this line on our target system. And if you just type here the cat at c slash shadow and then grab for root, you can see we only get the line that contains the root. But if you just type cat at c shadow and then uh, grab root and then dot and comma and then ps, we can see that we grab the line that contains the password root and we also list the running processes on our Kali Linux machine. So you can concat as many uh, as many commands as you want. So if I just type here ls as well, you can see it does both of these commands and then the third command it just lists, lists the file in the current directory, which at the moment is just sshlogin.py. So let us nano this uh, file right here. We basically finish the main function uh, the real coding of this program is actually to code this connect function, this send command function, but it really isn't that hard. Let me just close the brackets right here so we don't get the syntax error. And down here we all we only want to actually call the main function. Now let's save this. And that will be about it for this tutorial. And in the next one we will code these two functions that we are missing. So hope you enjoyed this introductory part for SSH attacks and I hope I see you in the next lecture where we will continue coding our SSH login program. Hope I see you there and take care. Bye.